Hello everyone. Uh, I just want to show you today that I found uh, because last week I bought six video cards for my next mining rig, and I had problem with my one of my RX 480 8 gigabyte car. First, sorry for my English, it's not the best, but I'm trying to make this video to everyone to fix, uh, to know how to fix the the video card when they overclock. I overclocked all my video cards, and when I start one of those. Uh, gave me black screen or green screen when I'm trying to play games. Uh, that's for people that overclock the video cards and I have a problem with that. So the video is gonna be very easy, very fast because uh, I already made a, a test uh, in my blog on WordPress and you will see all the information is there, all the website you have to download the software so I don't need to explain that. It's very simple, we show you what I did on my computer and you fix the video card. Now I can play games, I can do everything and also I can mine it too. I will show you in a minute. Okay, first thing you need to do, of course, is connect your video card to your computer, a regular computer, no, a mining rig. You put it in inside, and you're gonna open this website, Tech Power. Tech Power has all the BIOS, on, or most of them, so you can download and install from the beginning. So you go here and download in database, VGA's BIOS collection. When you click on that, you're gonna select use GPU brand, in my case AMD, car vendor AMD, or car, car, sorry, car vendor, or car vendor I look for ASUS, because mine is ASUS Dual, put in here, and then car model, you like select RX 480, you will see here that we have even the RX 580, so this update, RX 480, Boost interface, PCI, memory type, DDR5 is fine, you don't have to click on that, and 8 gigabyte. Even if you don't click on that, you will see a list of, your, of the ASUS video card. Mine, in this case, is ASUS RX480, 8 gigabyte dual RX480. If you have Asterix or the other Asterix, you can select here. But in my case, I will use this one. Okay, you just click download button and you will see your file here in your download file folder download folder and this is the file you see ASUS RX ray so next step is open it up your 18 win flash I let I put all the the websites on my blog so you can download from there no problem with that when you open it up first thing you need to do oh okay at the flash you need to open it like run has an administrator if not it's not gonna open. Okay, once that open, you click load image and you look for the image that you download from the website. Here, Asus RX. Open and you will see this here. New BIOS, current BIOS and new BIOS. My case was another BIOS and I'm gonna update for this one. What this software do, do does is uh, he clean everything on your BIOS and he start installing a new BIOS from the beginning so that's very cool and maybe sometime that's just what we need to fix the problem but in my case I had to do more things like so, like I will show you next so you hit program and I won't do it because I did it already you hit program it takes some time 5 minutes sometimes 10 minutes just need to wait when it finish you need to restart your computer when you restart your computer you're gonna install this software MSI Afterburn if you don't have it, I, I let the link below in my blog, okay? So when you open MSI, the first thing you need to do is click settings and you're gonna select start with window and start minimize. Another thing important here is unlock voltage control and unlock voltage monitoring. Force constant voltage. This is very important because what happened with my car was that sometimes gaming, they perform a higher voltage and my car uh, wasn't allowed to use that voltage so I do this I put the voltage has a constant so all the time it's gonna be high voltage for my video card so when the gaming needed it, it's gonna give it to him uh, you select fan you can change this I always this is always like this they say like this I always put it here because I don't want my my graphic got get hot uh, monitoring that's not important and general is fine everything check here that you have the same like me okay pretty sure this is gonna work for you guys I was looking on the website nobody has a solution for this and I finally finally I found uh, 
the solution for when you overclock your video card and it's no useful for gaming or mining anymore. Now it's working again. Okay, and this is very important here. When you change this parameter, so you put core voltage, it's gonna be on zero. I will show you how you fan. When you open it up the first time, we'll see like this. You see, voltage is zero, power limit zero, temperature limit to maybe 90, depending on your video card. Car clock in this car is 1305, and memory clock is 2000. What I do here is I put it back, this a little bit up to 1600, and this I think uh, 1280 or something like that. And core voltage is very important to put it up. So my configuration for that was this. I will show you because I saved it already here in my profile, and this. You see, if you have an RX480, you can do the same. And I will show you how to perform in the engine heaven that uh, is very good for gaming. It's like a 970 or 960, a little bit more maybe. It's good for gaming because uh, before I wasn't uh, uh, I wasn't allowed to use this video card. Now I can use it. Maybe not the limit, but I can play games on that. Okay. So here you select that of this. What is it? And maybe you can save it. You click here, you click here, and you save your uh, settings. So every time you open, uh, you start your computer, you will see MSI, and you select your profile, and it's all you're ready to go. Okay, here I open Heaven Benchmark. Now you will see everything is like stream right now. Little sex, uh, all track stream, anti aliasing uh, X8 and 1920 by 1080p. Okay, run. And you see how it performs. Okay, prep, prep for a second now is 37, and the memory clock is 1305 2000 megahertz. I don't know why it doesn't change. Let me keep, let me start again because it's gonna crash if I don't do it. Maybe I didn't save it. Okay, you will see that that is, that's the the performance, that's the base performance. Oh, that's why because I didn't change. I put it in, but it didn't change. So I need change, save it, and now my video card runs a different clock and different memory clock. You will see. And now my graphic card is, is not gonna crash anytime. Once again, sorry for my English, but I think it's not needed uh, to speak perfect for this video. I'll just show you in my computer what happened, what I did, and it's working for me. Any comment you can write me by YouTube or my website WordPress, in WordPress. Okay, here you will see 34, and now the memory clock and clock memory is different. It's 1274 for graphics core clock. And for memory clock, it's 1648 MHz. So you will see now it's different, and the memory on my graphic card is not gonna crash anytime. So I can play games, and it still runs good. Everything is in ultra, so my graphic card is fine. Okay guys, I hope that that video worked for you. You can fix your video card. I think that this can work uh, on Nvidia or AMD cards. I was looking at the website, a lot of places that they say how to fix an overclocked video card, but nobody say actually how to do it. I did it and I hope that helped you too. Thank you and I see you in the next time. Don't forget to subscribe, you like if you don't like it. You know what to do, but next time, just like it.